Guys, the automotive YouTube community, it's under attack right now, and nobody seems to care. All right, so what am I talking about? Obviously, you guys have watched our videos over the last couple of days. We've covered the hack of, well, 2019, whatever you want to call it, in pretty great depth so far. The sad thing, and, and honestly, the theme of today's video is really not much is being done to combat it from YouTube, from other people. I feel like we are in a massive lack of effort to get this thing remedied and to get these people's channels restored to them. Now, before I get into the negative stuff about all the bad stuff that's occurring in terms of remedying the situation, let's talk about the good stuff first. We'll start on a positive note or as much of a positive note as we can with this topic. For starters guys, a number of news outlets as of yesterday and today have started covering, uh, we'll call it a security breach in YouTube and Google. Pretty extensively in fact, a lot of different news sources are starting to pick up on this story now. That is in part to what we're doing here. Your guys is viewing this, spreading the word, talking about it. It's doing a great job getting this information out to, uh, to folks that are actually going to cover it and hopefully place more pressure on YouTube to do something about it. Uh, most of this started with ourselves and ZDNet doing a sort of investigative reporting on the matter. That actual report that references our video and the work that we did talking to the creators that were affected was actually bumped up to Forbes. Now that Forbes is doing articles on it, a slew of other publications have started to cover it. So we are doing a good job in that regard. Uh, specifically, our videos on Life of Palos have been referenced in a great number of those articles. So on that front, we're doing very good. The more that we talk about it, the more that you guys react to it, are the better chance that we have of getting YouTube to take attention. Now, sadly, let's get into some of the more negative aspects of what's been occurring lately. Uh, YouTube actually commented on the hack, specifically hitting automotive creators, and uh, their response was extraordinarily lackluster. Now, here's the crazy thing. In their comment, they're like, you know, we haven't really seen any sort of uh, increase in hacking or takeover and deletion of accounts. Make sure that you're using 2FA. Uh, that'll help you solve the problem. Now, they're not 100% wrong here. Uh, having 2FA is better than not having 2FA. Uh, Two-factor authentication. The problem is that all of these folks had two-factor authentication. Uh, I'm baffled that YouTube does not understand what's actually occurring to the creators that are affected by this. It feels like there's a major disconnect between uh, the creators that are being affected by it, uh, talking to YouTube and actually getting a real response. I've talked to everybody that lost their channel and essentially all of them have been in contact but they keep getting the same canned responses from YouTube. You know, they've all gotten the same email chain from YouTube about six letters deep now. So there's no personalization here, there's no call and I realize that there's hundreds hundreds of thousands and millions of channels out there, you would think though with the rash of uh, deletions that are occurring within our automotive community that someone would at least take a little bit of notice and do something about it more than just a standard stock response. Now, sadly things, uh, they don't get much better. Uh, I talked to Black Widow Super today. Black Widow Super was unhappy with the rate of, I guess, recovery that was occurring with YouTube via email. So we decided to go down to YouTube Space in LA, which is basically a YouTube run facility where creators can come down. You have to have, I think, like 10,000 subscribers or so, might be more than that, I'm not 100% sure. Went down there, was like, hey, I'd like to talk with somebody from YouTube and see if I can't get this thing moving and not just have some canned stock responses from the company. They literally turned him away at the door because, and get this, because he didn't have the required number of subscribers to get into the door. They, they asked for verification. Uh, because his channel's been deleted, they wouldn't even let him through the door. He was turned away at the premises. That's a baffling thing for me. You would think that YouTube, even you know, even the security guards would understand if someone is having an issue, to at least bump them to someone that can help them out. It's frustrating for me. I can't even imagine how frustrating it is for everybody else out there that's dealing with this, especially to be turned away from an actual YouTube facility at the door. Now, let me be clear on something real quick here. Uh, YouTube is not at fault per se. Like they didn't do the hack. They're not at fault. The only people that are really at fault here are the hackers and the people that sort of enacted these phishing scams. What I am upset with YouTube about is their lack of uh, personalization and dedication to getting the problem fixed other than stock responses. The fact that they didn't even realize what was happening and didn't realize that, you know, a particular niche of their, uh, their community was having their channels hacked, deleted, and possibly sold is completely baffling to me. It's very, it's, it's a very bummer thing to hear about a company that obviously I put a lot of my own stake into. And I know guys, I bet you're probably you know sick and tired of hearing about this but nothing's getting done like you know we're not we're not getting accounts recovered maybe they still will but uh from what i've understood the youtube you know emails that have been sent out so far to the creators that have been affected have been pretty uh pretty bummed out about it now obviously we talked about changes that youtube could make in the past couple of videos that we've done 
Uh, I would love to see them do that. It would basically solve a backend hacking problem like that. Uh, we wouldn't have to worry about it. And it's as simple as literally just putting a delay on the deletion of a channel, similar to what Facebook does. But I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm a little bit flabbergasted by it. I really don't know what to talk about anymore. Um, I just want to continue raising awareness for it. Uh, we're going to probably continue to mention it. I don't know if we'll have any other dedicated videos on it going forward, but we'll definitely keep talking about it. There's the scary thing. And the reason why I decided to do one more video on it, at least as a main title today, is I know a lot of high profile creators that I don't want to talk about right now, uh, and sort of protect, you know, who, who's been hit by this and who hasn't. I know high profile creators that clicked into this particular email and uh, we're just sort of waiting to see if their channel gets deleted at this point. It's a very scary thing to have to deal with. So I don't think we're done. I think we're, this is gonna hit more and more people. And obviously there are a lot of different ways that we can help protect ourselves about it. We'll have some new news on a possible major fix for high profile automotive creators and how to stop this sort of, uh, you know, reverse proxy attack from happening over the next couple days. But I just, I wanna do my best to bring it to you guys. I know you're probably sick about hearing it. So I apologize for the continued coverage of it. I guess I wanted to get it to you guys because this could have been any of us. This could have been Stradman. It could have been DDE. It could have been any of the monster channels out there. It could have been us very easily. This email is the start. It's not an end. We haven't heard the last of these folks. They were able to catch so many channels at the first time. They're going to get better at it. They're going to try it again. And our, our channels are at risk here. If YouTube doesn't do something to help stop these sorts of attacks with the recommendations that we've made and others too, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. I mean, this is going, this could completely ruin uh, a source of income and financial stability for, you know, thousands of creators, not just in the automotive realm, uh, but, you know, you know, fight spreading to the rest of YouTube. Anyway, that's all I have to say about it today, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll probably have normal news tomorrow. I've got a pretty fun story for you. Not connected to the hacking that we'll be talking about tomorrow. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you want up to the minute updates in the supercar community nobody else is doing this right now guys uh, if you want to know what's happening in our community other than you know what you see on the surface this is the channel to follow anyway have a great day we'll catch you guys tomorrow that's all i got bye